Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's boy Blaze Bringer. Call me Blaze, bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Now, firstly, I thought I'd never pick this game up again, but it's like there's virtual crack installed into this game. No matter how much I rage or scream at it, I mean, I'm just just want to come back and play it again and again. I must say, it's something they've actually done good in this game, made you want to play it over and over, no matter how much you get mad at it. But anyway, enough of that. So I'm running with a P90 suppressed here because, firstly, many people in this game I've noticed have become very, very, um, I, as you can call it, radar, very, very radar sensitive. By that, I mean if you shoot with a non suppressed weapon, they're all over you, literally. So rolling with the suppressed guns, you know, P90, MP7, AK47, AK uh, Type 95, whatever. Um, you'll counteract that, and that's what I've been doing lately, I've never, never, you know, starting out with the gun, I have to unlock the sensor, the suppressor first, and, you know, do my little thing, but um, once I do that, I usually get my good games, and I don't usually rage that much, that's what I was trying to do, and that's probably something that I, um, should have done from the start, suppress all my guns, because that's what I did in Black Ops, um, 1, mostly use the Galil suppressed, also the AK-47, oh, that was my baby back in the day, but let's talk about Black Ops 2, so, firstly, I, the, black, the new matchmaking system in Black Ops 2, y'all know what it is, the true skill matchmaking thing. I am not going to be liking that, firstly, because I love raping noobs and people that are nowhere near my skill caliber. But, you know, I also agree with the playing people of your skill, you know, it's always a lot of fun, and you learn a lot of new stuff and become a better player by playing with people that, um, I have learned a lot of new things from playing with good players and all that, like, firstly, throwing, um, flashbangs around corners, this thing I probably would have never done if I've never seen any real good players of Call of Duty ever do that. Also, jumping around corners, you know, the little jump shot thing you can do. I probably would never learned that if I have never, um, seen any good players play, um, Modern Warfare 2 and all that, but, uh, anyway. Other than that, they said, talking about theirs having, um, uh, what was it, what was it called again? I forgot, I forgot, what is it called? Yes, dedicated servers, you know, the whole dedicated server thing. The only game I've actually seen that actually work greatly in, and by that, I'm talking about the game actually has dedicated servers, and the servers don't drop after a while and host is back. Like in Gears 3, dedicated servers were there for a good five months, I'd say. And after a while, you actually would lose connection to people, and you would have little errors, little screen pop up. Connection to host lost came up. And, um, yeah, so I'm just hoping there won't be none of that. You know, dedicated servers drop after a while. Can't afford them anymore. So, uh, yeah. But other than that, I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 2. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be picking that game up first day. Of course, not that kind of game. I would be picking up, of course, Borderlands 2 and Halo 4. Those are my type of games. You know, just Call of Duty games and, and you know, all. You know, they don't really excite me that much anymore. But um, anyway, yep. So right now, you know, I'm going on a B streak right here. I almost have a Moab this time. But you know, a little Sandy Ravage want to be want to kill me with this spell, C spuzz. Something about that gun I've never understand is how I can kill some people so far away with it, but when I'm actually up close to people, they seem to eat my bullets. But I'm using this gun, I forgot the name of it, I think it's the MK14, whatever you know what this gun is called if you uh, play this game enough. Um, this game is beat, I mean this gun is beast, I mean I haven't under really used it for that much, but you know I'm understanding it more. It's basically a two hit kill. Um, and I use the suppressor on that of course, and the red dot slide use it to attachment perk. And I can go on a absolutely beast right now. This right here almost killed me, Mr. Spas right there. Got my AC-130. Time to roll. Time, you no, know, you no. Know, try, trying to find. And look at Mr. Mr. Um, um, Dead Man Hand right here. You know, this just feels like in these games, they just add more, more trolling, trolling in this game. They basically made. Um, and I had, I get absolutely almost no kills in this AC-130. <laughs> it's a bad map to use this kill streak on. Um, basically all the high kill streaks is basically usually useless to use it on the same here on dome people just run in the house and hide but uh yeah almost getting no people with this but uh, anyway but, uh, off topic there I forgot what I want to say um and oh yes the little um dead man's hand thing is basically um last chance on steroids y'all know how annoying that was they basically put oh I almost killed myself right there with my own kill streak but uh, anyway, they basically put down steroids, and this is one thing I'm fearing in Black Ops 2, you know, with the little perks they, and the little um, other stuff they have, making um, the most annoying stuff in the game worse. And in here, I'm actually seeing people trying to bring um, noob tubing back, 
rolling lost servers with the little people you know in corners i've actually seen people literally run to corners from their spawn and just go hide in them the whole time but you know it's been your boy blazebringer mr spossy spouse had to ruin my time uh almost got me a move in this game but uh yeah it's been your boy blazebringer hope you enjoy it rate comment subscribe you know i'm out of this mother peace